Welcome back to Let's Play a Smurf again. So, an interesting fact about the music in this area is that it actually has an unusual signature, time signature of 13-8, hmm. which means it has 13 quivers to 8 notes to a bar measure. And I think that's not referring to this area because there's not really music in I think here. it was probably the... But uh, instead referring to... The factory world. This area. The gate. Which this area, admittedly, has some weird music. So it's interesting that they went with a weird time scale just to like, you can't even like hear the notes and go, this is weird. It just, like the time signature just kind of makes it feel weird. I think it's supposed to be that thing that implies otherworldliness. Also, the factory is actually referred to on the world map as gate, but it's called factory on the save point. Yeah, that's just what like I said. what you said. Yeah, I, I actually said that one. I know, but I was like, I just like to confirm it. Okay, well I'm going in here. And I'm gonna beat you up! It's a ninja. It's a ninja! Oh, he's a factory chief. Oh. That's much less impressive. It's a ninja factory chief. Oh, that's more impressive. Especially that a ninja went so far out of his way as to become the chief of the factory. The gun yoke. Oh, so you invented the gun yoke. Okay. So what is it? The gun that shoots yoke? The factory chief has a thousand HP, and his sociopath is who dares to fight me. Hey, what about the gun yoke? Just real quick, so I know who to attack. Uh, let's see. The gun yoke has fifteen hundred HP. Ooh, he's got a lot of stuff here. Uh, he is weak to thunder and ice. Okay, gun yoke sounds like the actual boss. Yeah, so I'm gonna fight that. Take this guy out. And his first. sociopath is. If we're defeated, the boss is alone. Oh no! Oh no! It's alive! It's got a face and everything. Oh yeah, it says right here, Gun Yoke is by far the greater threat. Every second turn, it will unleash the deadly Breaker Beam. Oh, crap. It says it doesn't need to waste turns recharging after it uses Breaker Beam. So yeah, Gun Yoke's your first one. Well, too bad, I'm killing the factory chief. Whatever, it's your fight. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that. Well, he'd already taken, like, a hundred damage. Blah, 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 blah. No, I already got the time. Blah. Blah? Blah. <gasps> oh, crap. You can silence him. You can silence the gun yoke. Oh, that's hilarious. He has Hold no up. Yeah, he has no resistances to status effects. Hold up. Also use sleepy time to put it to sleep. Ah, oh, I use me. You, you can't use breaker beam anymore now because of that. Haha, ah, you weenie. Now I'm just gonna punch you around, punch you a lot. Oh, you can also use terrorize to put fear on him. I'm gonna deck you right in the schnoz. Ow. Why can melee attack me? Oh. <laughs> the gun yoke's Japanese name is Rasudan which is Japanese thing slang for Last Dawn, which is a shortening of Last Dungeon. <laughs> uh huh. I want to keep putting status effects on them. You never get... Like, I the thing I hate about status well, effects... you can terrorize them with Bowser or sleep it with Peach. Oh, that's true. Like, the thing I hate about status effects is it would be so much... Like, it's there's no point in using them against the regular dudes. Because they're gonna die in a turn anyway. Well, so, like, you only really want to use them on bosses, and all the bosses are immune to them. Well, I hate to pe keep uh, beating this dead horse here, but uh, Dragon Quest tends to have it to where... Uh, oh, I was gonna terrorize him with Bowser. Uh, Dragon Quest tends to have it to where if you ter if you have status effects, they tend to work on bosses, too. Well, that's great. Yep, they're coming out of that. Th coming out of that there pipe. I can see them rising right up out of there. A pipe that looks like it has Bowser's arm bracelets on it. I mean, it's pretty menacing and aesthetic. No, I'm scared. I'm gonna go home. 
I will die. But you know what? I'm a star. I don't care. Like, you're gonna go back to Star Road, yada yada yada. I don't oh, like wait! It. The hot dogs here are great! I can't go now! God dang it. Why didn't you tell me Crazy Ivan made such great hot dogs? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, keep going, Figure, finish your job. Why does that claw do anything? What is it connected to? I mean, presumably the chain just goes far enough off screen that they decided to... Yeah. Alright, so we're... So the weapons are coming from here! Yep, right there on his tummy. It looks nice on me. Back off, little man. <laughs> All right then, die. A demonstration. Yo, Smithy. Yo. You think he's just gonna go like? Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, you brought all the stars for me, so instant death, instant death, instant death, I win, give me the stars. Too bad we protect against instant death! Uh, instant death that can't be blocked, instant death that can't be blocked, instant death that can't be blocked. How does that crap work? Uh, very quickly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You think he's actually going, you're actually going to appeal to his empathy? I'm literally, like, pure metal. I have no empathy. Like, he's here literally doing nothing but constructing weapons. I like how Smelter out there is just kind of going, bleh, 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 bleh. Is he gonna do anything with this? Bleh, oh my god. Bleh. And then, like, it just disappears because it's just looping the animation. Bleh. Man, I love weapons! Weapons are so great! You said his name was Smelter? Yeah. How the hell did you know that? Because I've played this game before. You have? I have? Oh, wait. Hey, this is some good music. By the way, last boss of the game, if you could feel that it's one It's Smithy! Out. It's the guy! Okay, so I do remember here you want to take out Smelter first because Smelter just keeps doing stupid stuff. Smelter has 1500 HP and it's weak to thunder. Its sociopath is, I brush after each meal. Oh! I got sledged. Its sociopath is, I brush after each meal. I sure hope so. Uh, I think we'll be fine without healing after that. The Japanese name is Yokoro, which means blast furnace. Eh. Yeah. This is some good music. I always love really good final boss music. Where it's like menacing, but hype all at the same time. Smithy has 2,000 HP. Has standard resistances and weak to nothing, but his sociopath is... Eh, not bad. Like, you can't just have final boss music that's just menacing. Actually, summon a machine mate too. Like I don't know. There's nothing really. There's nothing really great about that. Like oh no, it's scary. Yeah, that's cool, but it doesn't feel like final boss. It just feels. Eh. Uh. Dang it, Bowser. It's when you get that like menacing and like heroic. It's like it gets that hype up. Swords oh, swords. That's not an attack, he's just throwing swords at us. It looked like he conked that shy guy on the head. Conk. And that's how I summon oh, stars from them. Wow, Bowser's not Wow! <laughs> Mario's just barely holding on there. Yeah, gonna be honest, this is actually a fight where you really want to have Toadstool. Like, for the most part, you can kind of go like, all right, well, you don't need, like, full-time healing all the time, but you kind of need it here. Will this smelter friggin' die? 
I have 1500 HP and get to it, bitch. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if Mario and Bowser are gonna make it through this turn. Uh, uh. Wow, I blocked it and it was still. I feel like it looks like he's conking that. Uh. Uh. Oh, how about that? Oh, I'm still kicking. Got it. Do you want to AOE anything down here? Or... I just want to kill this friggin... Oh, I can't kill him anymore. Oh, I did it. Shiker? Yeah, we killed the... We finally killed the smelter. Oh, yeah, it actually says here Shiper. Uh, These guys should go down pretty easy. I guess. Shipers have 400 HP. Well, I did 280 to them. They also cast Sword Rain. Ow, 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 You know, you can stop casting Sword Rain! Their sociopath is... Ooh, this'll be fun! It sure will, conk. Oh, get that lag going. The Shyster's Japanese name is Dikai ta uh, Tate Hippo. Hippo. Mean freshly made Shyster. If you ever had freshly made Shyster. Yeah, dang it. Up, oh, Monsters FP has gone. I missed the timing on the... The lazy shell? No, on the um, therapy. So Mario's not looking quite as hot as he otherwise could. Got it. Is this guy not dead yet? I'd been working on the other guy. That guy there! Had, that guy had no FP left, so... Well, this guy's gonna run out in a turn or two anyway. They keep throwing swords at us. It's not fun. Oh, he doesn't have anybody to conk anymore. I wish I could still make more of these guys so I could conk them on the head. Yeah, well, now I'm gonna use comeback on Bowser, and then you'll then you'll know. Yeah, get that lag going. It's great. Smithy's Japanese name is Kaijo, which means Smith King. Yeah, fair. Well, he has a crown, and he's a smither. Yeah, <laughs> I live, but screw Mario, I guess. Yay! Yeah, the timing for comeback is nice and easy anyway. You're gonna mess up! Oh, dang it. And that even gets him at full HP, too, so, like, whatever, man. Oh, no, are we actually hitting me? What the crap? No, I didn't hit. They're probably hurts. gonna lose about. Yep, there's Bowser. But. If I can keep both of you alive, I'd like to start group hugging. <laughs> But I mean, I can also just revive you every turn. I can also do that. I've just literally made a mana. There's nothing left for me. We're not using FP for anything else, and it only costs two to revive somebody. You know, uh, fair note, Smithy can also run out of FP. Everybody can. He has 250 FP. Well, if, if Kulix can run out of FP, anyone can run out of yeah. FP. Yeah, everybody can. Everybody's alive. How about that? Dang it. The time- I almost want him to die. I can get the timing on comeback nice and easy. Uh, I guess I'll pass Meteor Swarm. I wish he had a guy back there that he could hit. Up still alive. <clears throat> Dang it. Mario lives through this next attack. I don't care. Death. Haha. Uh -huh. Give me that group hug. Dang it. It's the weird lag. You're weird lag. I mean, like, I'm not good at it already, but, like, the weird lag is not helping me. Well, I guess we do have, like, five different entities on the screen right now. <clears throat> it was all those, like, sword range and crap, too. So I don't know. <laughs> 
Oh, she hit me with a frying pan? Who does that? What the crap? I have a sludge hammer, but at least I... <laughs> at least I'm using that to, like, cast spells and stuff. I do like that for being, like, the weapon king, we're not actually hitting him with any, like, legit weapons. Like, Bowser's just hitting him with his own hand. Toadstool's got a friggin' frying pan. And Mario's just got a shell. No, beaten by a frying pan? What hell kind of game is this? I just summon a arrow? Named Arrow. It does that sometimes. When I'm very angry! I don't have blood! I have oil! It's oil pressure! Wait, aren't you just enemies we repurposed that you used to work for Bowser? Why are you trying to help me? Actually, only one- well, that one is. <laughs> but hey, we can make- we can build them too! Oh, guess I'll conk y'all in the head. I like that calm, like, everybody kept trying to console him and he just says, How utterly annoying! Well, the shyster did come in and said, told him to stop shaking the floor. Yeah. Get this. There's your new meme, folks. Smithy smashing the floor and then going like, who did this to the floor? <laughs> Why would Mario hmm. do this to the floor? That's not, that's not nightmare inducing at all. <laughs> I'm going to eat your brains in your nightmares, kids. The true smithy! I like his beard form better. I like this one if only because of what he does with his own head. And that... I don't know, it makes me wonder, like, what even is he, really? Well, his head's got 8,000 HP. Uh, it's got natural... It's got normal resistances, and it's weak to nothing. And its sociopath is... This isn't good at all. So if memory serves, um, I think you want to take the body out first. Body has 1,000 HP. Yep, sounds like a plan. And it's got normal resistances and no weaknesses. I think the body can come back though. Tank head! Sociopath for the body is what a heavy head. The tank is, it's, it, they all share the same HP for the head. Mm. The head's basically the final boss. Yeah. Uh, the tank also has Magnum, which is its instant death kill. Okay, can't move. There we go. Yeah. Because you neutralized the body. I think that means it can't change the head shape, too. Hmm. Yeah, it also doesn't get an attack, of course. Uh, the head, the thunder, the tank head is actually weak to thunder. It does come back, though. Yes. Body does come back. And the nope, 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 nope. And the sociopath for the... Okay, hold, hold up one second. Dang it. Okay, go on. The sociopath for the tank head is don't shock me. Don't. I will do what I want. Like, use this rock candy I have no other use for. That's true, I should. I use it with Peach, if you've got the chance. Otherwise, just cure. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, so he has a lot of different heads. I don't actually... Okay, he's gonna change. Okay. There we go. Wizard head! That is a weird-looking wizard head. Magic head. It kind of... Oh, I still can't attack the body, so he just changes heads. Yeah, guess what? Anyway. It has a lot of spells. Who'd have thought? Uh, it's weak. It's it's actually strong to pretty much everything. It's not. It doesn't have a resistance to jump, but it's not weak to jump either. And it's sociopath, it's psychopath is good magic, bad defense. Dang. I just cannot get the timing down. That's not a spell, you're just causing an avalanche! Where are those rocks coming from? We're in a I weird made head world. Oh, I think that's his body coming back. Yeah, it is. 
Ah, uh, well, I should take out the dog. Got it. Take out the body, but just because the body does get an attack, and I'd rather not get... Oh, you're just throwing swords again! Yeah, dang it, I just healed. Oh, changing heads. Safe head! That's mask head. Oh, hey, this is the one that has Shredder. Oh boy. Well, good thing I'm not... Good uh, thing I'm not buffing! This one also does recover and mega recover. Well, that's amazing. And it's strong to jump, fire, thunder, fi uh, fear, poison, sleep, silence, critical, but weak to ice. And it shot me with his gun hand. And its psychopath is nothing. There we go, did it. And its psychopath is nothing can hurt me. There's Shredder. Yeah, nothing can hurt you except a very large shell. I, oh, I should have group hugged. Bowser's fine. Nobody likes him anyway. Oh, he actually got the timing on that one. Finally. Tank head. Are there any other heads, or have we seen uh, them? There's treasure head. Alright. I want to wait and see if he Animal. does it. I don't know if he's going to, though. Uh, I should group hug. Yeah, group hug would be best. I don't have a very exciting playstyle, and I apologize for that. Oh. My playstyle is... I survive, you die. <laughs> pretty much. Dang it. I mean, I mean he, he healed him up, so whatever. I mean, it works for me. Like, a lot of bosses tend to die. Oh, his body's back. Man, I feel like I just took out your body. In my defense, you saw the peak of my strategy against Qlex. And how long was that video? <laughs> hey, quit that! Oh, Bowser's down. Yeah, dang it! If only you'd leveled us up more. You're good enough. Like, it's funny because we're actually pretty low... Like, we're kind of low level, but it, it hasn't felt like we're low level up until now. Not really. But then, like, you get to this fight, and you just kind of get wrecked a little. If I just leave the body alive, I can probably take out the head pretty quick. But, I don't know, he also hurts, so... Not getting hit twice in a turn is... Hey, you know what I can do finally? Use a Yoshi cookie. Are his arms just chains that go inside the body? Kinda looks like it. It's weird. I don't think he's got. Uh -huh. Oh, well, he's changing. Did he do treasure head? No, nope. he doesn't make magic Mage head. head. Uh, I thought we were gonna see the treasure head, but it looks like a treasure chest. It does status effects, basically. And uh, its psychopath is what's hidden inside. It's also weak to fire, so that's kind of what I was hoping for to show up, and you just go like, oh, fire, eh? Yeah. Fire, eh? Who's weak to jump? I want to jump on him. Nobody's weak to jump. Dang it! Why, isn't it... Why does nobody have a weakness to the jump element? The jump element is the best element. I mean, that's why they sell a lot of magazines. Got it. Yeah, like I said, nobody's really, nobody's weak to the jump, and then the mask head is actually strong against jump, so... Yeah, dang it. It's almost like, as a final boss, they didn't want me using what I've found to be very effective. <laughs> Smithy was a character nominated for best uh... villain in... God, 
was a character nominated for Best Villain in the 1996 Nintendo Power Awards. He received third place. Smithy lost to Bowser from Super Mario 64, who received second place, and Boba Fett from Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, who received first place. Really? Boba Fett? There we go. Oh, there's a the treasure head. Yeah, he's weak to fire. Friggin' Boba Fett, really? Yeah, Boba Fett. Man, nobody remembers Boba Fett. I remember Boba Fett. Well, I mean, pe obviously people remember Boba Fett, but, like, from that game specifically... Yeah, I guess that's there. Oh, dang it. Smithy's standard head in his second form only remains during the first few turns of the battle. Once he first changes his head to a new form, his original head will never return aside from appearances in between his form changes. There we go. Dead. Oh, trippy man! Oh, I don't know what that was, but it was unpleasant. Might want to, yeah, unmute Mario. What's Mario gonna do? Fire? I'm busy. <laughs> busy making sure Bowser doesn't die. Who cares? Bowser can't use fire. In fact, the one thing Bowser's not known for is fire. He's never used fire in his entire career whatsoever. Yeah, I already lost my chance to do it anyway, so whatever. We said you can't use fire on the tank. You know, I, that's true, really. You just go up to the top, open it up, and flamethrow it or all, and you don't get a war crime committed against you. <laughs> Nobody can prove I did that. All right, well, let's therapy Mario up, get him up and going, and then let's, I don't know, let's just, I'm going to super flame a tank. Oh. His rain attacks may represent some of the members of the Smithy game. Spear rain for Yardvich, sword for Mac or Exor, and arrow for Boyu. I did it, I fired a tank. Ah. I kind of wish I hadn't, actually. Well, I mean, that's your problem, not mine. Because now I'm running out of... Now I'm running low on FP. Oh god, whatever we do with all these syrups you have, and these well, ca those Caro Caracolas. But it means I'm wasting my turn. Bowser could be smacking him. Oh no. All those Kira Kira Colas you could use that could full heal everyone and your FP. When will you use them against the last boss ever again? <laughs> but what if something really important happens later on and I need it? Ninja. Oh my god, Dalamud's falling on Smithy, and I ran out of my Kira Kira Colas. Whatever will I do? Why did I use them all while fighting the final boss? God dang it, I'm about to leave your stupid body alive. I'm getting tired of this. Oh no, and Dalamu brought a gunwalla with it. <laughs> Just clinging onto the side of the friggin' meat the moon. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wish I knew how much HP he had left. I'm about to just kill him. I would just go for him now. Leave your stupid body alive. I was just hoping you get to the point where he just landed below. Dang. Well, she's not gonna be the landing blow, because especially if I'm leaving the body alive, I'm gonna get hit a lot. I mean, unless you keep attacking Toadstool. Well, Mario's still hurt. Whenever will I use these Kira Kira Colas for? Magnum. Haha, we all protect against insta-death. Oh, now you can use fire. Okay, yeah, just gotta live until Mario's turn. We're actually not looking bad on HP. I'm gonna group hug anyway, though. Get that full HP. Peach, Peach needs that three extra HP. <laughs> you never know. Alright, let's go! Not that weak to it. I think better than your normal hits. I mean, maybe a little. Fear. Uh huh. Did you just hit me with a frying pan? Did you just win with a frying pan? Conk! <laughs> 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 How? God, it's always hilarious when the boss just like dies so horrifically like that. Poison. Oh, no, poison. Hey. Oh. Ugh. I hope you're fine. You know 
what I got? I got... I got another rock candy. The doctor said I can't have sugar! <laughs> Come on, just die already! Change P do you have? Well, I mean, I know you're the final boss, but... Well, he has 8,000 HP, I told you that, but I don't know, we haven't been keeping track of it. Yeah, it's kind of a lot of HP. It is. How much did Qlex have? I think he had like 4,000 something HP. I, if you combined all the crystals together. Mega you know. recover, at least it's on the body. I don't give a crap yeah. about the body. If, if you combined all the HP with the uh, the crystals, it had the most HP out of the fight. But if Culex only had like 4,000 in it or something. <laughs> eh, I can't do it. Here's a Yoshi candy. I pooped it out in my butt. I can block that, but the timing is super weird. Change to a form I can hurt. <laughs> Change to a form doesn't make a. I got a Yoshi candy. Wish I knew what it did. Mm -mm. I ain't looking it up. Yay. Oh, it's like a full heal kind of thing. Well, that's cool. I mean, it did full heal him, but. Yeah! It was a good heal, and recovered status. You cut that out this instant! I will not allow... Bosses cannot heal themselves in my house! Grrr. Yeah, we did it! Uh, just kidding, full heal. Man, this is still a great fight, though. Like, it's very Final Fantasy, but like... This is a Mario game. Look at that. That is disturbing for a Mario game. Told you he exploded. What, what did we hit him with? Uh, the lazy shell. Dang. So. I mean, Mario gets the final kill, but I do love the fact that he just goes like, Was that a shell you just hit me with? <laughs> Hoist it up high. That wasn't even a weapon, he just hit, a sh hit me with a shell. Shells are brittle against metal, how does this work? What even made a shell that big? Wouldn't it be more dangerous than the shell itself? Bowser swoops in, I wish to rule the world! <laughs> and immortality, if you can sneak that one in. Bowser, that's not how these stars work. I've been reading the wrong comics then. <laughs> Okay, I wish to rule the world and be immortal. Rejected. Damn bureaucracy. <laughs> we did it! Yay! It's all the stars. Oh, they're rainbow-fying. We made the star road. Or is it the star haven? I don't know, but I hear it's a haven for stars. You know, I wouldn't guess that from the name. Please take my body back to my friend. <laughs> Here, kid, here's your friend back. Ah! <laughs> so, yeah, when does he leave, does his body, like, shrink back? I think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, they went camping one night and he needed kindling. <laughs> That's why Gino's not in this anymore. <laughs> Oh, they left me here. Now I must go and see my brother Twink. I must go. <gasps> I must go. My people need me. Gino's dead, everyone! <laughs> Who? Mario kicks it. That's for being stronger than me. <laughs> you didn't think I forgot that grudge, did you? <laughs> Oh, it was a funny thing. It's uh, weird. Just because of, um, like, overseas boundaries and uh, that kind of thing, apparently for as immensely popular as Geno was over here, Nintendo, like, didn't even know about it for years. Oh, yeah, that happens with a lot of series. Yeah, like... and it was, like, years later, and they're like, 
Wait, what? Really? He was that it's, popular? We should have done more with him. We didn't know he was that big. It, the trope is that Germans love Hasselhoff thing. Mm. It's like how uh, Tingle is huge in Japan. Well, the opposite is Americans hate Tingle. Yeah. It's like Tingle is huge in Japan, but over here, we realize for how horrible of a character he is, so... <laughs> Well, it was mostly the delay. I don't feel good, Smithy. It wasn't... Yeah, it was mostly the delay. It wasn't even like they weren't expecting him to be popular or whatever. It was just like they just years and years out. and years after the game was done and came out and had run his course, and they're like, wait, they like what? I have to imagine it can't, it, that they found out sometime before uh, Mario and Luigi. I know there was one game that they actually put Gino in as a cameo. That was Mario and Luigi, Superstar yeah. Saga. They put it. They put him in there specifically because that was pretty much the exact time they realized that... Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was wondering. Was it around that time it figured out? Yeah, they that? went like, oh crap, this guy's popular. Let's put him in one of these games. Hey, Prince Mallow, he's a prince again. Yeah. You still suck, I know. But you are a prince, so that's better, I guess. Save that clown card for my son, dammit. You get back in here this instant. Hee-ho. I'm gonna hee-ho you right in the face. <laughs> well, I'll never appear in another game. I know, I feel bad. I liked him. I'm kind of glad they didn't make Gino leaving into this, like, huge, big, sad event where everybody's like, big Oh no, sad. our great friend! Because, like, we kind of knew from the start... Like, we kind of knew... Bullshit! That's not how the cookies work. <laughs> we kind of knew from the start that that's where that was gonna go. Well, I guess you're my friend now. Enjoy the inevitable fan fictions about us. <laughs> Like, his, kind of his entire personality is, I'm going to restore this and go home. That's it. That's my entire character. He's teaching to toads. Where is this? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, he's dead. He finally died and his ghost has arisen. Do you think he visits Mallow at all? I'd be willing to bet Mallow visits him. Yeah, Maybe probably. hard for him to get all the way up there. Oh, look at that, they're actually getting married. I now pronounce you man and wife. Get to the banging. <laughs> Just throws a cloak over them. Booster, I love your money. I didn't know Dodo was an ordained minister. I mean, sure, if, this is, if, if I've learned anything from all the Mario games, it's that, like, anybody you know what? is. He is probably the actual ordained minister of the thing. He <laughs> just got kidnapped by the Valentina. Yeah. If I've learned anything from yeah. the Mario games, it's that... There's no real requirement to be an ordained minister. You can just kind of go, I'm going to marry you two, and everybody's like, oh crap, they're married now. I like how Yoshi's there as if he actually did anything this whole time. <laughs> the Chancellor did more than Yoshi. <laughs> Yoshi was just kind of on an island off on his own. No, he gave me that one Yoshi candy that one time. Yeah, but Luigi's leading the parade, so yeah, well, obviously that's best character there. Yeah, that's some great stuff right there. Fuck you, Waluigi. That's why you're stuck as a side character and not main in Melee. In Smash. I do still think it'd be neat if Waluigi got his own game, but I think it's also interesting that they've kind of written him now as being an athlete. That's just what he is. Oh, yeah, now you use your symbols. Hey, Naka, want to guess what my favorite Smash is? Symbols? Nope. Detroit Smash. <laughs> oh, they got legs now. Ugh. Uh, I mean, they're getting there a little bit. I'm, I'm kidding. My favorite one was the United States of Smash. God damn, that was a good thing. That one was pretty great. See, you've been getting into that lately. I've mostly just been watching clips on YouTube that I find in my recommended, so I still, like really don't know anything in the grand scheme of things, but I know, bros. I know just enough to be dangerous. <laughs> Croco stealing it with his buddy. Hey, you get back <laughs> here, this instant! I will burn you with fire! He doesn't use fire. Oh! <laughs> I've been married, and you should see his dick! <laughs> I don't know how to segue into the <laughs> bolt of money, so... 
Uh, Dickard's Big Vault of Money. There we go. <laughs> there we go. It's a, it's a spell in D&D or something. You have to be obscenely rich in order to even cast the spell, and it just gives you access. <laughs> my wife loves my huge penis! <laughs> 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 oh, a beetle. Yeah, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> train crash. Who's piloting your float? Float? That's a train. It's a train float. That's a float train. Did someone cast float on the train? <laughs> <laughs> I stole your thing. Oh no, the beetles have turned on them all. How do you bounce like that? I'm not sure... The other guys I can take, but that front guy and the back guy, I'm not sure that's... I'm not sure that's how bouncing works. Haha, <laughs> we're alive the whole time. We're going to invade you again now. Uh oh. Yeah, let's see here. I, there's... I feel Obviously, like there were more dunked. than that. Well, I mean, I guess there's Blade. So that was one. The Axum Rangers were missing. Yeah, so, so of the probably seven. probably Piling Blade. There's Wait, but Mac, of the seven, Yeah, of the seven. Oh yeah, of the seven stars, how many of them were actually Smithy Smithy's minions? Mac, Bowyer, Yardovich, the Axum Rangers, and the other ones we got were. I mean, we got one from Punchinello. Yeah, one from Punchinello, we got one from Star Hill, and the yeah, last that one was just and the last there. one was Smithy, so the last one was Smithy. It's those t it's those other two from Star Hill and Punchinello. Punchinello. Mobile. I feel like mines. I feel like we should have had a boss at the end of Star Hill. Instead of it just laying there. Just have a friggin' Smithy guy standing there going like, Ah, oh, I finally found the star. Wait, Mario and then you fight him and then like that's it. It's just shy gun. It's a shy guy with a gun. <laughs> That friggin' Gunwalla. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Back up, everyone. This ain't gonna go well. It's like, hey, we found the star. Is that a koala? He's got a gun! Is that gonna be our signature thing for our series now? I like, don't know, but I almost hope so. <laughs> Somebody's gonna send you a plushie with a koala with a big gun <laughs> on it now. Oh crap, I forgot to buy the fireworks. This ending is actually more extravagant if you buy the fireworks. I knew I forgot something. Dang it. Oh, don't forget to buy the fireworks. Right. I should get on that. I think like the more you buy, the more you the more fireworks you get or something. I think they also may do that like you get a mushroom and then a flower and then a star thing if you buy more too. I don't know, man. I've never played this game before. What game are we playing? Detroit Smash. I don't think that's a game. Not yet. It comes out like later this year or so. Mushroom. Mushroom. Yeah, I think that's where you would have gotten like Mushroom Flower Star, depending on how many fireworks you buy. Well, that means we just get a one-up at the end. If you got like Star, 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 you would have gotten five up. Man, I want that five up. Those later levels are rough, you know? I like how it still has to be, like, patched up and sewn together. Well, the sword went through it. <laughs> oh no, Gino's a D! <gasps> what a dick. <laughs> done. Game's done. <laughs> We's good. We did it! God, this is still a pretty good game. It is. This is still... You can still pick it up on the Wii U if you have the eShop option open, and, um, I think you can. I don't know if they closed that one for... I think it's on the Wii U eShop, not the Wii eShop, so... Hmm. 
still pick it up there. Or if you can get your hand on an NES Mini, a Super NES, uh, Super NES Mini, you can get it with a bunch of other good games. I would recommend it. Yeah. And this is still, to this day, my favorite of the various Mario RPGs. Between the Mario and Luigi games and the Paper Mario games and anything else that they've put out over the years, this, to me anyway, this one is still my absolute favorite. And I think the reason it's my favorite is specifically because they worked with Square Enix. And Square Enix at the time was making the kind of RPGs and JRPGs that I love. The traditional turn-based combat, that weird fantasy world kind of crap, but still with like that weird kind of cool enemy design that's it's not, it's not, there's some basis in stuff you understand, but it's also, like, weird and new and stuff you've never seen before. This came out after Final Fantasy VI, right? Probably. I think so, because this was, this was, like, a few months before the N64 was released, mm. which is why it's, some people believe it didn't sell so well. Mm. Also, I think it may have had a limited run. Yeah, and this is, like, it's the combination of my absolute favorite era from the Final Fantasies combined with Mario and like Mario's great so you get a Mario game with the traditional JRPG mechanics you get this real interesting world with stuff that we you don't normally see in the Mario universe and that's still kind of crazy weird enemy that's maybe kind of rooted in stuff that we're familiar with but also just strange and surreal and I love it, and it's great. Also, it apparently can survive lightning strikes. Well, Did I ever tell you about that story? No. I think I might have told you about that oh, story. Oh, I think you have, actually. Yeah, I remember I don't now. Think I, tell, I don't think I said it on here. Yeah. If I did, it was really early on. Uh, yeah, turns out, apparently, these cartridges, when you actually have physical copies, very good at surviving blackouts that actually really kind of seem like they destroy the cartridge. Because I was playing it one night, and I think there was a thunderstorm outside, and our power went out, and it was a bad power outage, too. Like, the Super NES was fine. Mm -hmm. Nothing bad happened to it. But for some odd reason, the Super Mario RPG cart I had wouldn't work. Hmm. Like, it got blown out or something, or hmm. something got wrong, oh, was wrong with it. I sent it in to get fixed, and nothing happened with it. And I mean, this was like... This was like into the N64, almost GameCube era yeah. for it. And I still got it sent in to get fixed on something. And, uh... I thought it was broken forever. A year later, I popped it in out of nowhere, and it worked perfectly fine. Nothing was wrong with it. So, yeah. Apparently, Nintendo makes products so good, they can survive lightning strikes. Well, that's what dubbed the term Nintendium. Yeah, well, considering their most famous one is that Game Boy in the museum that was hit by a bombing strike in, des in Desert Storm and uh, still works perfectly <laughs> fine. Okay, so I've already mentioned my thoughts on this game. What are your thoughts on this game? I, because I know you have slightly different thoughts than I do. It's mixed. I think, personally, I kind of like the later RPGs better, because I think Nintendo kind of was able to focus more on Mario. I like the earlier Paper Marios more. The later ones, uh, we, you've... You've heard our we've, stuff we've on been through before. Those. The Mario and Luigi games, I think, are pretty solid overall. Like, I, you know, I mean, even even if you don't like Partners in Time, I really think they're all solid games. Though I, Partners in Times hold a special place in my heart for another reason, which if we ever get to that game, I'll explain that then. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I kind of I like it. I like it. But my thing is, is I, li I like it, but I don't like it as much as I used to because now there are other games out there that I've seen and go like, whoa, I think they did better than this. But I don't think anything's going to recapture the magic of this as much as it can. Which is why I'm not really holding my breath for Super Mario RPG 2 because, yeah. one, that's probably never really going to happen. Yeah. I mean, if it does, cool, but yeah. if not, I'm not really hurt that hurt over it. And two, at this point, I mean, maybe, but I don't know how it would work. See, and that and that's interesting. Especially because I think a lot of the original staff that worked on this 
actually work on the Mario and Luigi games now, so. And I think it's I think it's interesting because our our opinions are mostly that like you, you like this game, you just think later Mario RPGs have done it better. Yeah, and your and, opinions is you're a big baby bitch who's stuck in the past. No, and some of that is they change the. I think you've said they change the mechanics to make the mechanics more interesting. They get to focus more on Mario and Mario's world. And that well, also I changes mean, how, like the mood and the setting and things. Look how many times I kind of jumped on an enemy even though I didn't even have to because yeah. I thought I'd get a first strike or something. And and that's where like alternatively, I prefer just because I prefer that classic Final Fantasy. Well, not like classic, classic. Not like Final Fantasy 1 you, classic. The Super like, NES classic. Yeah, like the Super NES classic Final Fantasies. I actually prefer this game more because it's closer to that. So tell me, everybody in the comments. What do you like about this game? What do you not like about this game? What are your thoughts about this game? If you're still watching to this If point. you're still watching, because we've been going for a while. But what? like, I want to know. I've told you what I think. We know, what, we know what we think. We've explained what we think. What do you think? Until next time, everybody.